how does the idea of FIFA service prevent people from providing a low quality of support yet still getting paid the same? It's a good question. And I think what I'd like to do is actually talk about where I see the, the review wanting to take yep. us, because I yep. think it really speaks to how to address that. Certainly their concern is they're just paying for an output, an hour of something, and there's nothing attached to that. No outcome, no quality, just an hour. And so what they're talking about is review, reframing pricing so that it becomes much, much clearer that there is an expected outcome there is, and there's expected quality. I think what we'll see, this is my best guess about where we're going to land is that we'll end up with what's called a blended payment arrangement, where there's a certain amount of money, which is like the fee for service. You've provided a service, you need to get something for that, but you need to do more in order to get the rest. And that more will be one or two things, maybe one thing in the short term, two things in the longer term. But one thing is about demonstrated quality, being able to demonstrate that you're providing a particular level of quality in the service, not just you've given an hour, and so the blended payment is going to be there in fee for service plus something that recognizes quality. And then the cherry on this particular cake is actually going to be a fee which relates to an outcome. Mm -hmm. You've actually been able to demonstrate that not only have you spent some time with this person, but you've actually made a difference based on what they're aspiring to achieve and what's in their plan. Mm -hmm. And so this blended payment, if we can actually get to that, and I don't think that's a short-term journey, by the way, folks, because it's quite hard to measure outcomes mm -hmm. or to measure outcomes and link them back to the service you've provided, but it's not impossible. So if you can do that, then a lot of these issues disappear and that, that risk of over-servicing, that risk of, of price gouging get addressed because you're not just given money to do a thing that's really quite invisible. You're actually going to be monitored in terms of what you're delivering. I think that will be really fundamental. That's my best guess about what we're going to see coming out of this as a recommendation. Implementation is another story.